Every great athlete starts somewhere. And this week's journey to greatness, we hear from one of the NFL's all-time greatest safeties. Ed Reed was a record-breaking defensive back for the Baltimore Ravens. He spent 11 of his 12 NFL seasons there. He retired as the franchise's career leader in interceptions, and he also owns the NFL record for career interception return yards with 1,590. Long before he became an NFL legend, he was a youngster in Destrehan, Louisiana. He says a lot of people inspired him to chase his NFL dreams, but his greatest inspirations were in his own home. And my parents, man. My parents had a huge impact on me. Um, my mentor, Mr. Parquet. Um, my guardian angel, John Hall. Um, a bunch of teammates that I had in high school, you know. Um, but, but it falls back on my parents and my older brothers. You know, my older, I always wanted to play football with my older brother. He was, man, he was a dog on the football field and um, in sports in general. And um, my uncle used to always take me to his games. And I always wanted to play ball with him when I was a kid. I, mean, I used to sit on this, um, this box, um, the electrical box, and watch the older guys play football when I was a kid. And I always wanted to be in that game. You know, and I never got a chance to play with my brother. I always wanted to, man. Reed played college football at the University of Miami, where he was a standout for some great Hurricane teams. The 2001 National Championship squad is considered one of the greatest teams in college football history. Reed always looks back fondly on a program that prepared him to reach the highest level. Miami did so much, man. They prepared me for so much, man. So many great people, so many great coaches. You know, that's what really nobody talked about um, or talk about when they mentioned our teams is we had a great staff. We had great leaders that were raising men. That's why we were able to have the success that we had. That's why we matured the way we matured. You know, you look back at our teams, you gotta look at the guys that came off that team, but look at the success that they're having. That's what we're more proud of, I think, you know, is that we have a, we had a bunch of great teams, a bunch of great players, but the things we did to encourage each other, to motivate each other to get to this seat, you know, I'm a representation of that. Reed would go on to an outstanding professional career that included nine Pro Bowl selections, a Super Bowl championship, and in 2019, he was enshrined into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. While football fans will remember him as a fierce competitor and a great teammate, Ed is working on a different legacy in his post-football life as he is now focused on his community. Just building the future and just helping, helping kids, man. That's been my biggest thing. I'm building a park in my old neighborhood right now. We're just doing the fundraising. You know, we need probably about 500,000 left to, to finish building it. That's big to me, working with kids. I always tell people philanthropy is my job, working with kids. You know, I do other things, investing in stuff like that. You know, but my job is, is community. Whether it's on the field or off, Ed Reed will always be remembered as one of football's all-time best. Booyah!